Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Straight Line Guide. Welcome to something brand new. Today we're going to be starting a new series on my channel. I kind of want to stay away from Minecraft for a little bit and kind of go into uh, some different games like uh, as this one, the Stanley Parable. Uh, I was just editing the settings, that's why I'm in there. But I, I haven't heard, I've heard a little bit about this game. I've watched a couple of videos on it and it looks pretty good. Apparently there's loads of endings and there's this weird guy who keeps talking to you. So let's find out and... Uh, We'll see how long I want to play this game. It won't be a massive series, but hopefully we can get a couple of hours out of it. So let's play. Okay. So let's see. The end is never... The end is never... The end is never... The Okay. The end is never. Oh, right then. I have not done... Re I've not done some recording in quite a long time. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. And I haven't played this game. And uh, in a couple of... Uh, it may be like a week or two. This is the story oh, of a man sorry. named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was it's employee very cheerful. number 427. Employee number 427's job is that me? Simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every Sounds fun. of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley guy. finished every moment that the orders came in. I already know that Stanley me. Is that supposed to be like that? That's kind of weird. Anyway. Stanley was happy. He was happy. Oh. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Case, he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. What a computer. Something was wow. very clearly wrong. High tech. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, oh, wow. he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Uh, just checking, you never know. Right then, let's go. Okay. All of his co Hello. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley oh decided God, to go to the some, like, personal doc Am I ever going to be able to speak in this video? No or is this guy going to just going to keep? Looked, <gasps> he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh. Turn it back on. This this is not good. What's around here? Hello. I'm really expecting. I'm expecting one of these doors open. Like I don't know Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, why Arnold Schwarzenegger? But I don't know. Some just terrifying monster. Just no, I, I did, didn't mean it like that. Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a terrifying monster, but still, he's... Wow, look at these. What's that say? Username access. Can I, oh, wow. Look, I'm kind of like... Uh, so let's, let's turn them all off. Maybe there's like a thing which happens. Let's see, okay. I'm, I'm a ghost. It's normal. Uh, what's through? Can I go through there? Oh, huh? No, a plant. It's a very strong plant. Look, I'm like ramming into it. This probably isn't real. It's just okay. What's that say? I hate Mondays. Who, who, who likes Mondays? Sorry if you do like Mondays, but I do not like Mondays. What's that say? Something quarter, aren't they? Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, I guess I know what I'm gonna do. But they're both identical, aren't they? Okay, let's just go down the right one because I want to piss this guy off. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley Stand. knew it perfectly well. Okay. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. You know, employee lounges. They are something. Oh, wow. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just Definitely. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It Stanley is. Stanley simply stood here. Drinking it all in. Oh look, cold drinks. It really is something. This room. Look at this. This is. You can't jump, but you can crouch. It's kind of weird. 
Uh, yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Can't you just pull these apart and see what's going on out there? I guess not. Fine. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Thanks. It's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> wow. Is that actual time? Oh my god. That is actual time. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided oh no. that the game was trying to send him a message. Screw you. But, oh no, it's... Pretend that it was a seven and it would have been the right time. Just, shush, just pretend. Maybe that's the time in uh, America? Moment, I really, I really doubt it. Unless, unless it's 11 a.m. Because I'm recording this at 11, 11 p.m. Yes, I'm a naughty boy. I am staying up voting. It isn't that late for me anyway. Should I just stay in here, or am I? Should I? Wow, look, let's just admire some of these paintings. Look, we have a lovely leaf with some water droplets on. We have the wide ocean. And talking about the wide ocean, uh, I'm Assassin's Creed. Black Flag comes out soon, I'm going to be doing a series on that, and I'm very excited, sadly I'm not one of those lucky guys who guess the game before it even comes out, but, should I ship this, let's go, let's just go, is that the way, yep, alright. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and took the Was first open door on his left to get back to business. Nah. Nasty, nah, just nah. Let's do everything. Let's do the opposite. Stanley he says. was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. My door was shut behind me. Is this not following me? Oh, I guess not. Oh wow, what a room. This is pretty big. This is like you saw a plane in or something. I don't know where. Oh god. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing wow. your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Really? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone Should I you've jump? Forgotten about. Please, no, stop no, that's trying to make every decision that's by that's yourself. Jump. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Uh, uh, this is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem her. yourself. Wait a second. I've... I've... Aside. Guys, what she's doing? I no, I didn't do mind. anything. I swear. She's been waiting. Oh, oh, a black door, sinister. Wow. Can't I just surely like just get on this thing, ram through those gates or something? This is a very nice forklift. Oh, that isn't. Oh God, don't hurt me. Oh. That's her, Stanley. Oh god, I'm actually kind of scared of this game. This, no, I'm right. Reach out to her. Okay, okay, okay. Your faith in I did it. No jump scares, please. Just stop. I don't take. Hello. Why is it? Why is everything? Is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay, there we go. All right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Let's get the. Oh come on. <laughs> Let's you get the shit out. You a loving wife. They'd want to commit their life to you. Be alone. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me what show you what's really going on here. What did I ever do to really you? What did I ever do to you? Just leave me alone. This is oh a very God. sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh no. Good morning, employee. Press the note. No. Okay, Stanley I did that. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. He doesn't know me. No, I, I'm not pressing it. No, this I ain't no pressing that. Nobody ain't no pressing some you today. I never did like you. You're a bitch. Okay. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Doing exactly what he's told oh, to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. This isn't creepy at all. He's going home. Now he's Let going out. back to work. One might Why can't I move any further? Him, except that he's chosen this life. I hate you. No. 
I'm not gonna. I've got to. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, this is a Stanley pretty crap dreamed of wild hotel, expeditions not into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. Not bad TV though, really. Every day that to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Mm, 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 mm. Yay. And so he began Aww. to fantasize about his own job. First, he Aww, imagined that one day oh while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press 1 to spend time with the book. I don't have any boys, wait. I'm, I'm pretty sure. No. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The Look mere that place. thought that his decisions would Wish mean something go there. was Instead almost here too with you. wonderful to behold. You weird plastic person. Yay. As he wandered through oh. this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down oh. one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Wait a second, I know that I'm not talking about my control, leave me alone. Directions. And down another was a game with a My computer is so loud, that's, that's the thing you can hear in the background. The Stanley Parable. I can hear the clock ticking. Stupid computer, shut up. My god, this is where I'm going to get a new computer soon. Or I can move my computer away from my mic. Oh, I wish I could. I'm most likely going to have to. I'm going to have to sort something out. Anyway, let's go. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, Hate he lived it again. Hate and you. then again. Hate and again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this Sorry. free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Love you. Wrong button. And there is no answer. Oh. How could there possibly be? Let me out. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing Where's that has changed. Again, see? The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more I've actually he gets had enough of this room. The real one. For now. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this Please world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains that here, coffee? he's that slowly like? killing himself. But he won't listen oh to me. Oh god, please say I don't shit in that box. Here, and it kind of like this. drains Stand out. Me. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm not going to do it. This is that sound. Please, computer. This is why I put music in the background of all my videos. Just please shut up. I don't want to put music. Just shut up. Shush. Shut up. Oh, I love the buttons. Hey. You see? Can he just not hear me? No. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand Quite that every that second light. he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? Yes, sir. How gonna... can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? <sighs> I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my Oh my god. I'm so sorry about my computer, guys. Standard. We're not so different, I suppose. I don't like it. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. I don't even like this guy. You know. And I tried again. Please die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley <laughs> pushed a button. <laughs> that, that's a lovely question. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, computer. I'm not joking. And there goes my chair. I think in my house is massively loud. Background noise, keyboard, mouse, computer, and chair. And some, most of the time me. Uh, so that's how it goes. I'm going to end the first episode of Stanley Parable right here. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, please step that like button as hard as you can. Oh my god, yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to do an outro here. Thank you. Oh my god, somebody's about to get seriously hurt. But anyway, if you enjoyed it and want to see more, please step that like button as hard as you can. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Stanley Parable. Goodbye.